Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video I am going to sh show you something really awesome and this is a chat bot. It is named as chat GPT. This is released by open API few weeks back and I just tried it out and it gave me a really awesome results. You can ask general questions to it and it will answer you and the capabilities, other capabilities this chat GPT or chat bot have is like it can remember what user said earlier in the conversation it can even write code for you in any of the programming languages i tried my hands on it and i found really awesome results uh, about the coding so this the results it has returned to me uh, forced me to think that whether this is the end of the programming jobs and before uh, having my view on this part let me show you the how this chat gpt works so first of all, let us start with the simple example. I am saying that explain quantum computing in simple term. So once you will uh, enter this and hit an send button and then it will basically um, understand what the user is asking and then it will give me answer accordingly. So you can see that this is uh, returning me the response and this is saying that quantum computing is a type of computing that uses the principle of quantum mechanics to perform calculation and operations on data. So it has given me uh, the same example of, you know, uh, explanation of quantum computing in simple terms. Now let us try something different and a little bit more difficult. Something like, let's say, if I want to learn how to write a for loop in Java. So I'm saying that how to write a for loop in Java. So let's wait how uh, this, um, this chatbot responds to so you can see that now it has given me the uh, answer to write the for loop in Java. To write the for loop in Java, you can use the following syntax and the great explanation it has given to me and it has given me a sample code as well. And I just click here, copy the code and the, my code is ready and I can copy and paste it anywhere. And I am good to go. So this is really good. And let's say if I try something more difficult, let's say I want to see that how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript. So let's see how it responds. So here you can see that uh, it is giving me the answer to make an HTTP request. You can use this object and for this. So this is the explanation. This is the code and the code is even, you know, given with the comments as well inside comment in the code and this is the complete explanation how it actually works so this is really really awesome guys and one more last thing that i'm going to try here for you is um, the more difficult one is let's say how i can create a uh, linear regression model in machine learning so it is more something more difficult i have tried one question on java i have tried another question on javascript now i'm going to try one question on python as well and let's see how it so here you can see that uh, now it is writing the code for me, how I can create a linear regression model in machine learning. And this is really awesome. It is It has even written the comment inside the code as well, like how to create the model, how to train the model, how to make the prediction and all those details. So, and after that, it has given me great explanation how it has done few things. So this is really awesome. And all, with all these results I have tried, it has forced me to think that whether this is the end of the programming job, I would say no. And the reason for it is because it is really good in answering the general problems. Let's say how I can create a model, how I can write a um, for loop hike, how I can make an HTTP request in JavaScript and how I can make a connection to a database. So all those things, it is really good in those things. If I ask something specific about my domain or about let's say my, uh, my company profile, uh, in, I mean, the work kind of I'm doing in my current role, uh, it won't be able to answer or either it will give a more generic answer, which is kind of not relevant to me. So per me, as per me, uh, this could be the start, uh, but going forward, uh, definitely 
uh, after some time the new version of it will come and after that so maybe after 10 years from, from now we can have more advanced thing in this domain and at that point of time uh, we can think of uh, losing the job uh, in programming but as of now for at least next 10 years i think we are safe so uh, you guys can check this video and try your hands on this chat dot open api open ai dot com i will leave the link of this in the description box as well you can try and you can um, give comments uh, how you feel about this whether it is going to replace our programming jobs or not so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one